Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to start looking at how we can support the claims that we make so that later on we can better analyze how authors support the claims that they're making in a piece of text that we're reading. So in order to understand what we're all talking about, we need to be on the same page with some of the vocabulary that we'll be using in the next week or two. So we're going to be talking about the word claim, which means basically, what do you think? What are you claiming is true about something? The next thing is evidence, which we've talked about a lot this year. So what makes you think what you just claimed? And then the reasoning would be to explain yourself a little bit further and help us better understand why the evidence supports the claim that you made. I want you to take a minute and jot down these words and the definition so that you have them in your reader's notebook to refer to later. Go ahead and pause the video and start it back up when you're ready. So let's practice making a claim right now. If I asked you, what do you think about school lunches, what would you say? You might say that school lunches are delicious, or you could claim that school lunches are disgusting. They're both a matter of personal preference, but we can't just say, school lunches are delicious, and walk away. We have to tell someone why we think that. If I'm going to make a claim that school lunches are delicious, I might give some evidence. I might say they're warm, I might like the food that they make, and I might say that they're really filling, so I'm not hungry again until I get home later. On the other hand, if I say that school lunches are disgusting, I also need evidence to support that. So I might say, every time I get school lunch, it's cold, or it's soggy, or there's not very much that I can choose from, so it's minimal, it doesn't keep me full. I might say the school lunches are repetitive because we always have the same things. I also might say that those just aren't the types of food that I like to eat. So in both cases, you'll notice that I not only made a claim, but I supported my claim with evidence that gave some reasoning as to why I thought what I initially was claiming. So now you're going to go to the Padlet that we provided for you, and I want you to answer this question. What do you think of the choice seating that we have in our classroom? Make sure, sure that you don't just answer the question, but you also support your answer with both evidence and reasoning so that we all understand exactly why you've chosen the claim that you gave us.